Hey there, Casey Dim and TaxAllAcademy.com, and today we're talking about tax lien, overbid, or premium states. Now, as we know, when you invest in a tax lien certificate, you are doing so primarily to earn interest on your money. You're paying off the amount of the back due taxes that are owed in exchange for an interest rate on that investment. Now, of course, you're gonna earn that interest rate when that lien gets redeemed, and if that lien does not get redeemed by the delinquent taxpayer, then you can take that lien to tax foreclosure or to tax deed, depending on the state. But let's go back and talk about when that lien gets redeemed and you earn interest on your investment. Exactly how much interest you will earn is dependent upon the system that is used by the state that you are investing in. There's a few different types of systems, but today we're talking about tax lien premium states or overbid states. It can be used interchangeably. Now that's not to be confused with tax sale excess proceeds, which is a completely separate topic. So today we're going to refer to it as just tax sale premium states. In a premium state, the interest rate that you're going to receive is set by state statute, okay? So that interest rate will never change. Whatever it says in the state statute, in the state laws, that's the interest rate that you're going to receive. What will happen, however, is the person who is willing to pay the most amount of money for that tax lien will become the owner of that tax lien. So you have a face value of the tax lien that is gonna be the amount of the back due taxes that are owed. Whoever will pay the most amount of money above and beyond that face value will walk away as the lien holder. So that's where you have the premium or the overbid term come in because the amount between what is owed and what is paid is known as the premium or the overbid. Let me give you an example of a recent sale that I was at. I'm looking at one right here. And let's see, $293.57 was the face value of the certificate, and my excess bid was $28.82. Okay, so $293.57 plus your $28.82. The $28.82 was my overbid or my premium. Now, depending on the state, that overbid or that premium might or might not be reimbursed, and it might or might not earn interest. So that's very, very important because in some situations, you can very easily lose money in the states where that overbid or that premium is not gonna be returned. So if you invest too much money, if you pay too much money for the face value of that certificate, and not enough months pass by where that interest will accumulate to cover your excess bid or your overbid or your premium, then guess what? You're gonna lose money. So it's, there's lots of strategy behind this and you really need to understand what you're doing, not only to figure out the financial side of it, but you also have, of course, have to understand the laws and how they apply in your state. So what exactly happens with that premium or that overbid? Are you gonna get it returned and will or will you not earn interest on that overbid, okay? So it's very important that you understand what's going on. That is your quick overview of overbid and premium tax lien states. Hopefully this helped you. For more information on tax sell investing, head on over to taxcellacademy.com. Again, that's taxcellacademy.com. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.